in this video we will find the integral of sin square root x dx so that is integral of sin square root x dx to find the integral first of all consider that x equal to t square that is root x equal to t now differentiating on both sides we get dx equal to twice t dt okay now put the value of x and dx in this integral so it becomes sin root x equal to t there so sin t and dx has a value 2t dt twice t dt the constant to get out of the integral and we take the t before sin t into dt okay now we can easily integrate this using the formula of integral uv that is u in v dx u is the first term v is the second term and the formula is given by that's equal to first term that is u into integral of the second term that is v minus total integral of derivative of first term that is derivative of u into integral of second term that is integral of v and dx okay now I apply this formula on that case taking that is u and that is v okay so that is now applying this formula we get the integral of this like that's equal to 2 first term that is t into integral of second term that is integral of sine t dt minus total integral of derivative of first term that is derivative of t that is first term into integral of second term that is integral of sine t dt okay into dt now that's equal to 2 into t the integral of sine t dt is given by minus cosine t and derivative of t with respect to t is 1 and also the integrals of sine t is minus cosine t into dt okay so it's plus a constant there c okay and that's equal to 2 into minus t cosine t minus this minus and minus becomes plus integral cosine t dt plus c okay now this is equal to 2 minus t cosine t plus the integral of cosine t dt is given by sine t so that is sine t and there will be another constant that is cu1 okay now we put the value of t in this equation so it considered before that t square equal to x so from this t equal to root x so put this value of t there that is root x so it becomes 2 minus root x in place of t cos of root x plus sine of root x and we take these two constant as a new constant c double prime okay thus we get the integral of sine square root x dx